here we are. This is going to be Vlog 2. And we're going to open the Christmas presents that we didn't open at Christmas time. I'm going to start off with this tall one. I do believe it's from Richard and Sheila. Wow. Wonder what it is. <laughs> Apparently there is a protocol here that says once you take the wrapping paper off you're supposed to ball it up and throw it at Richard. to open this there's a there's a bit there I don't know what that is oh wait a minute there's a bit there No idea what this is. It's not so easy to get it out of the box. You have to wonder how they got it in. out of this. Idea what it is now. <coughs> Turn it up the right way. As we can see now, there's a right way and a wrong way. I'm sure that you can see what it is now. It is, of course, is there another one somewhere? No, I don't think so. Actual fact. 
way back in, oh, I don't know what it was, 19 whenever, I was watching a show on the telly and there was this guy on there, his name was um, Steve Martin. Now, Steve Martin is a, a comedy actor. He doesn't act very well and he's not funny at all, but he's the world number one banjo player. He makes Earl Suggs look like a beginner. Joe Brown, one of our best, looks up to him all the time. He is an expert. So much so that he inspires you. That's what you want to do. So, come Christmas in 19 ever whenever, uh, I was asked, what do you want for Christmas, Dad? I'd love a tenor banjo. Now, I'm not sure whether these things are called tenor banjos or whatever. That's what I called it. And come Christmas, I got one. Here it is. <coughs> this is what I call a tenor banjo. Whether it is or not, I don't know. I'll leave that up to John to find out. <laughs> well done, John. Let's just, and it's been sitting here ever since we moved in, in its plastic bag, because every now and again I take it apart and I dust it, I clean it, and then I think like that. Well, way back in 1900 and whatever it was, <coughs> I actually learnt to play this brilliantly. I was an actual, I was an actual expert on this, and the best place for it was up in the bathroom in Lime Slade. And I used to sit on the toilet for hours, stomach, strumming this away, stumming, <laughs> strumming this banjo. It's a John Gray, made in London in 1937, one year before I was born. So this is 84 years old, this banjo. I'm a bit trepidation here, of putting it in the case, <laughs> it's fitting, it fits. There it is. It's a lovely instrument. I think that fits guys. Don't quote me. Let's see what happens when I shut it. job. Yes, I used to sit on the toilet. I learned to do three finger picking and four uh, chords, but I could never actually put all that skill to work to make a tune out of anything. But I used to love it. Some of the best musical shits I ever had was sitting on that toilet with this. Thank you, Richard. Thanks, Sheila. You know that's going to be well loved. See you later.